Guys, welcome back to part 3 of Rubik's Cube Revenge Tutorial. And after you have paired the edge pieces, now we are going to make a cross. Just like the 3x3, we are going to make a cross over here. Okay? So, like two edge pieces, we are going to consider this as one. So, let me rotate uh, this and get it to green like this. Now, let me find uh, this one. Let's say it's. I need to orient this with red. So, let me take above and get it red aligned it more or less the technique is similar to 3 by 3 so I'm not going to explain in detail over here so now I need to find an orange one orange is here so let me get it up here and let me get it back here so orange is matched observe these are flipped I need to match with yellow and to match this with blue but these are flipped so let me take it here get it like this then like this and get your this back so I've made a cross out here now uh, the corner piece the method is exactly same like 3 by 3 so I need to find a proper corner piece I need to find uh, white blue and red white blue and red is over here align it bring it exactly on top of it take it here and then the method is same like 3 by 3 so I'm not going to explain more in detail I just quickly make it so I've made this now orange and green let me get it over here orange and green so here orange and green now this is the wrong one so let me get it out so orange and blue orange and blue here it is now one last okay so again I'm gonna make this very quickly look at this so we have made the first layer now likewise we're gonna make the second one so understand we're going to consider this as one piece so the method is exactly same like three by three so uh, let me find let me take this one say uh, blue one blue orange match the center so you either have to use a left algorithm or a right algorithm you'll find the entire link in my three by three tutorial so this has to go to left so let me just quickly put it like this So there you go I have inserted this corner over here now the next one is orange yeah and this will go to left so very quickly I'm going to make this one and I've inserted that one as well now yeah this will go to right so right algorithm there it is and the last one but observe I have all yellow pieces and this is stuck away so I first I'll first insert a dummy piece over here so let me insert these two over here using the right algorithm okay so now that piece has come out so now I'll use the same algorithm here look at this the first three layers are done now again I have to make a cross out here so if I don't get something called as parity this cube will be done if I have a parity over here then I will run into a problem I'll explain you what exactly is parity let me just try out whether I get a uh, parity or not so let's imagine one piece second piece third piece this is an L so let's use this F R U R I ui fi okay so i've got a line now just like three by three so again we'll use this f r u r i ui fi okay so we have got a cross they have not run into parity so i'll take an example wherein 
we get this parity issue so you will understand how to uh, solve those parity issue what exactly is parity you will find this yellow over here and blue over here green over here and yellow over here now once you have made the cross let's align the centers so let me align the centers like this now since in this uh, particular thing we don't have any parity issue so let's solve this just like three by three and in the next video i'll be discussing how to solve those parity issues as of now let's find a right corner piece just like three by three now if you observe this is the only one which is the correct one so i need to swap these three corners so let's do that now how do you do that very easy up away from you up inverted away from you up towards you up inverted towards you let's check well this is the only one others are still the incorrect corner pieces so let's do it again up away from you up inverted away from you up towards you up inverted towards you well looks like we have all the proper corner pieces so let's let's use one of my favorite algorithm so right inverted down inverted right down 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 let's use the next one right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down right inverted right down so here i've done this one well i'm not the fastest one so there it is we have done with 4x4 Rubik's Cube and in my next video I am going to discuss parity issues that is one of the biggest problems solving this 4x4 uh, Rubik's Revenge but as of now I have not encountered this so sometimes you don't encounter parity issue so it is similar to solving 3x3 but if you encounter parity issues which I will be discussing in my next video then how to solve it so I will teach you that in my next video